Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to format a table in Microsoft Word. In my previous videos, I would have shown you how to copy and paste tables from Excel into Microsoft Word, but I haven't shown you how to format it directly in Word. So we're going to do that today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table, go down my insert tab, and I'm inserting any size table because I can add rows to the top, to the bottom, or on the sides whenever I need to. So when you insert a table, it's going to come up with all the borders up. So you're going to have to, let's remove all the borders. So we select all the cells of the table. We go into table design, borders, and we can remove all the borders and say no borders. Now, when we click no borders, you notice we still see the outline of where the cells are and where the table lies. If you can't see this, you're going to go on to um, table layout and you're going to click on view grid lines to be able to see it. All right. So if I unclick it, you won't be able to see the table itself. So click on view grid line. So we have a good idea of where our borders are going to be. Now, all our tools that we need to format our table we can find on the table design tab if you're not seeing the table design tab it's because you have not selected your table and you haven't clicked into your table so click on your table and two other options are going to pop up your table design and your table layout table design contains all the tools we need to format our table i'm just going to insert a few more rows using the tools on my quick access toolbar I'll leave a link in my description to how you can set up your quick access toolbar. To insert rows, you can always go to your table layout tab and insert and delete rows in this section here. To add borders to Microsoft Word, um, generally they have the default border, which is basically a straight line. So if I am adding a border to a cell, I need to select the cell I'd like to add the border to. If I just click in the cell, my borders is only going to go in that cell alone. So if I click on the cell, I want to add, select the cells I'd like to add the border to, then I can add borders to a series of cells. So let's say we're going to use this set of cells here as an example. So if I go into my borders, you're going to see the option for a bottom border. I'm going to hover over it so you get an idea of the borders that will come up if I click on them. Now, even though I selected two rows of cell, my bottom border is only going to add a border to the bottom of my selection, right? If I wanted borders um, across all the cells on the, bo on the bottom of all the cells within my selection, I'm going to have to go to this option here that says inside horizontal border. And then I'm going to have to go here and select a bottom border as well. Right, which means that if I select a series of cells, I'll have to go to inside horizontal borders and then go to my bottom border. If I select bottom border alone, it's not going to add the borders to the bottom of all my cells in the range, just the bottom of the cell of the range of cells. Right. Similarly, if I want to add a border on the sides, let's say I want to add borders to my left. It's only going to add a border to the left of my entire selection. Right? So if I click on left, you'll notice the left border comes up to the left of my entire selection. If I click on right border, a right border comes up to the right of my, of my selected cells only. Right? And of course, if I click on outside border, a border is added to the outside of my selection only. So that's generally how you add borders to a table in Word. It's really important to pay attention to the cells you are selecting when you enter your borders. So that way the appropriate cell is adjusted. So I'm just going to go in and remove my borders now. So I can show you one last thing. So if I want to change my border style, generally in Microsoft Word, your borders by default are going to be a straight black line. You do have the option to change your border style. In other words, your border style, either here or here, can be a straight line, a dotted line, a dashed line, and all these options you have here, right? 
squiggly lines and so on you also have the option to change the thickness of your line so you can have it at a quarter point a half point all the way up to six point and to change your border style on any of your borders you're going to have to select your border style first and then draw your border or select your border right so by default when you select a border here it's going to come up as this straight black line but if we want to change our border style let's say we want to put a dashed border we want to change the color of the border to let's say red and we also want to change the thickness of it to two and a half so you'll notice when i select these options automatically my border painter is selected now a border painter is basically a tool that allows me to just click and the border will come up so if i click on any of these borders my border will come up right i can also hold down and drag and you'll notice a thick black line comes up but that's just to show me where the border will end up when i release my mouse the appropriate border style that i selected comes up right the other option you have is to undo the border painter and just select the cells you want to adjust and use your normal border tools here as well right so that's how you change your border style your border color and your border width so basically this is called your line weighting or you change your line weighting using microsoft word tools the very last thing about formatting a table in microsoft word is how to shade different cells and that's pretty easy you just select the cells you want to add a shading to you go into your shading option here and you click on whatever shade you want to use and that's how you add shading and borders to cells in Microsoft Word. So in addition to adding your own cell borders and your own cell shadings to a table in Microsoft Word, there are also pre-built table styles that you can use, right? And these table styles can be found here. Now, inside of these table styles, there are certain elements you can add as well. Like you can add header rows and total rows, banded rows, a first column, a last column, and a banded column. So I'll go through each one of these now and show you the impact each one has. So if I select, if I deselect these, and I select header row, it means that it's going to put a special type of formatting on the header row, right? So if I click through here, you will see that my rows now the header has a different style of formatting right if i select first column you're going to notice that they're going to put a formatting on the very first column that's different to the rest of cells so we're basically saying i want to highlight my header row and i want to highlight my first column and that's the options they're going to give you there right so you can choose any one of these and your table will automatically be formatted right if you want to add a total row you can click here and it'll add in a total row formatting for you so that if your table has a total it'll automatically format that for you as well there's an option to add a last column where your last column can also be formatted differently and they also have options if i select these so you can get a better idea of what it looks like to have banded rows so banded rows mean that every other row has a different color so that you can kind of follow the line um, more easily. Or you can have banded columns so that every other column has a different color as well. So you have the option to select your different um, table styles and you can also add and remove certain elements from your table style as you need to. So you can also use this preset style as a starting point and then you can come in after and add your own or edit it to suit your own style as you need to. The best way to use this tool to me would be to use the banded rows and banded columns because it makes highlighting every other row um, a lot easier. You don't have to go through and do that manually. So I hope this video makes you a little bit more comfortable with formatting tables in Microsoft Word. 
If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks. Bye.